Hey there folks, this is the iRobot channel and uh, my previous video I had was how to take the Roomba apart or strip it down. In this video, the, I'm going to show you how to put the Roomba back together. Uh, this is the iRobot Roomba 700 series. And I'll start off by uh, putting the clip sensors and bumper sensors back on. So the previous video I had was uh, how to test and remove the uh, bumper sensors in case somebody had some faulty bumper sensors. So to put it back on is real simple. Uh, you notice that the connector here of the bumper sensors it needs to be on the left side uh, or closer to the left side. As you see that the wires are short here to the bumper sensor and here they're actually longer. So you have to keep it the left side will be where the left bumper sensor goes. So first off you start with putting the uh, clip sensors on. You should hear it snap a little bit like that. So I won't snap in. There it goes in. There you have it. So there you go. So now the uh, clip sensors are on. So I start to put the uh, bumper sensors on. Make sure you're not pinching any wires anywhere, or so you wouldn't be placing any screws over it either. So make sure the, the wires are nice and free, and make sure the uh, make sure the bumper sensor is placed in nice and firm. Go ahead, and grab your screws. Let's square it on. So that goes for the uh, left side bumper sensor. Uh, I removed this metal piece uh, just so slightly so I can remove the uh, clip sensors easier. To put it back in is easy, just pry it in uh, and bend it out a little bit. Just like so. There you have it. Okay. Okay, so again, make sure your wires are nice and clear, uh, there's no pinching. You're not uh, putting screws over the wires. Pay attention to that. And make sure that the uh, bumper sensor is nice and firm so it won't be sticking out or anything like that. Make sure it's nice and snug. Sitting there, sitting in flat. Once it is, go ahead and put the uh, screws on it. Alright, so once we get that right there, I'm going to go ahead and put the, uh, the line, the IR line array back in place. Uh, this is the same line array as they use in 500 and 600 series, in case you're wondering. So go ahead and plug everything back in. to the PC board. And again, make sure you're not put, uh, pushing any wires down over the holes where the screws might go. Make sure you're not pushing anything. Uh, th that way when the cover goes on, it doesn't press everything down and squish or, or pinch the wires in. Uh, go ahead and line up the, uh, the springs from the Side brush motor right over the holes, and then make sure everything else is lined up. All right, so that uh, PC board right there is on. Use the screws that you removed earlier, the five screws. Uh, like I said in my previous video, they're uh, they're the same screws that are used in the 500, 600 series Roombas. Just in case you lose them and you have extra laying around. There, there you have it. Screws are on. 
Now here's a speaker wire. You can plug that in. And the uh, power power wire is plugged in now. There you have it. Okay. And the vacuum bin wire. Alright. Now I'll remove the uh, put the plastic back on the protector. Okay, there you have it. Now I can place the uh, secondary board right on top. You gotta make sure you flip it this way and uh, make sure your connectors are going in correctly. Because remember, you have to twist it back over again. So we'll just plug in here our two cliff sensors and the uh, vacuum bin, oh, full vacuum bin sensors. So we'll just plug those in. There's the board right over our holes, as you'll see here. Make sure you don't uh, bend the pins down uh, on the uh, pr primary PC board. You gotta make sure you do this carefully. Align correctly, and once you do, you'll feel it's going pretty snug and straight. So you'll see the pin stick now just with the hair. This is good. So there you have it. Our secondary board is on. Uh, go ahead and put, push in the wires in their correct positions. Might be a little difficult at some point as long as they're pushed in. And they're not going over any holes where the screws might go. You're gonna be fine. All right. Place the plastic back on top of it. And put the main cover or top cover back on top. All right. I like to use my number two size Phillips head to put this uh, main screws back on. I'll just put one right now and put the uh, bumper back on. So the way I put the uh, bumper back on is also I have a technique. I'll start off from this end. Like I say, if you don't have this technique built in into you yet, just go ahead and Use the screws here, or holding a bumper sensor, I mean, the front bumper there together. All right, so the front bumper is on. Uh, we'll put the uh, keypad on top. And we'll put all the screws back on top of it, so. Remember, there are 20 screws here to go. go in. So if you guys have any questions, um, please let me know. You guys can either message me or uh, you know, put a comment below. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys have questions on how to do some repairs, uh, you want me to make a special video for you guys of doing something spe specifically, uh, just let me know.
Um, I've been doing Roombas since uh, 2009, I think it was. Maybe more now. It's been too many, too many years went by already. I have dealt over 800 Roombas by now. Uh, or I mean at least 800 iRobot products that went through me. So I can help you guys out with anything you guys need out there. Uh, just let me know. Yeah, and I'm almost finished here putting all the screws in. I got a magnetic screw screwdriver there. So there are six screws that go into the keypad here. There's about uh, there's another. 14 they go on the main cover here so all right last screw um you gotta make sure you're uh, screws are nice and tight. Uh, don't overdo them because you could strip the uh, plastic that they're in. Alright, uh, so now put the display back on. Put the cover over it. Snap it in there. Place your uh, the face plate. So as you notice right here, we got two latches here. You gotta make sure they go into these two two notches right here. So here we have. We'll put them in. Put the uh, handle back on. Put in here just like that. Put the back piece in here. Uh, just, to put it in, you gotta go like this. You go underneath the handles. All right. All right. There you go. The top piece is all done. We'll flip her, flip her over. Put the uh, modules in, like so. Screw all the modules back on. Try to place the front wheel back in there too. You could put a battery in there too if you want right now. So I'm using a uh, screwdriver with the uh, number one because Phillips had to put the uh, modules on. Alright, put the vacuum bin on too. Put the uh, bottom plate on. I'm using my uh, Number two size Phillips head. Put the battery power back on. And put the side brush back on. Alright, so there you have it. And there's the number. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channels. Uh, enjoy.